guys, it's me, Roxanne. Yes, yeah, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I am so happy that you guys enjoyed my last video. Three million views and counting. Only ten people unsubscribed. Wow, what a success. For those 40 people who are still here watching, this one's for you. I'm not gonna lie, after my last video, I went out with a couple of girlfriends and got a little wrecked. I went out on a bit of a bender, but I'm back and I'm feeling better than ever. I've been crashed out of sleep for almost four full days. I'm finally up in Adam and ready to film a brand new tutorial for you. To be honest with you, I had no idea it was already freaking October. So I figured what a better time to film a Halloween look for you all. I'm going to do a costume party tonight with my ex-boyfriend, so I said, you know what, I'm filming tonight. Here I decided to dress up as, drum roll please, Barbara Eden from I Dream of Jeannie. And my ex is going as Larry Hagman, a.k.a. my master. So funny story, um, I've actually known Barbara for a long, long time. We both went up for the same role as I Dream of Jeannie, and, uh, Barbara actually had a little special rendezvous, if you know what I mean, with, uh, Jean Nelson, the creator. She got the part, but I gave him the angle. I just wanted to say how grateful I am to have such sweet followers, and, uh, Take a moment to say thank you and answer a couple of questions. So my first question is from Bad Gal 69 She said, wow, it's like a mummy died of radiation. I bet that pussy is rotten too. Let's just go on to the next one. Uh, next question is from Yummy Cindy 2 uh, It says here, Oh, her makeup actually looks really nice in the end. Oh, thank you, Cindy, thank you. Too bad she actually looks like Flavor Flav smoked a bottle of toilet cleaner. Kiwi Baby wants to know, how old are you? Ah, uh, well, I am almost 22. I'm 22. I'm 22. Okay, here we go. Is that thing wearing a mask. I thought I was watching an episode of The Walking Dead. This is terrifying. Tana Mango in 40 years. Who's that? This shit made me lose my appetite. Are you okay? How did this happen to you? What the fuck is that thing? It's like Annabelle, The Conjuring, and The Nun all in one video. What the fuck is up with that mug? Someone please kill that thing. Okay, come on. I fucker. Mm. Throwing up emoji, throwing up emoji, throwing up emoji. Okay, well, I think that's enough questions. Thank you all so, so much for the love. Without you, I wouldn't be here today. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Ah. Okay, you guys, so as you all saw in my last tutorial, the MAC Strome Cream didn't really work out for me, so I figured out a brand new concoction that's been really, really lovely. I'm just gonna go in with a little extra virgin olive oil. This is the organic kind from Papalana. You can get this at pretty much any grocery store, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Ralph's, Gelson's, what have you. It's um, imported and it's got a full body flavor. Not that it matters. You're not uh, necessarily tasting this. You're just going to put it on your skin. I like to use the organic kind because it's uh, just a little bit more simple on my skin. The next step is going to be a foundation. Not much has changed here. I'm still obsessed with my Sally Hansen airbrush lens. Did the Sally Hansen work for anybody else? If you tried it, let me know in the comments below. Ah, I'm 
telling you if you don't want to spend the money on the Dior air flash, just try to tell you. And it worked a miracle for you, I swear to God. I mean, who's got that kind of money these days? And once again, don't forget to get your goddamn hands. Now no one will be able to tell that it's not a real tan. We're gonna just brighten up our face a little bit. So I'm using a little bit of white. Funny story, me and Barbara, we were at Studio 54 with uh, Warhol and Raquel Welsh, who, by the way, is a guy. So we're doing body shots all night long. Some guy who I swear to this day was Paul Newman, but introduces himself as Sandy anyway. He gives me a little bit of what he says is cocaine, but it ends up throwing me a little bit of a curveball. Anyway, we come to the next day on a one-way flight to St. Bart. I swear to God, first class. Barbara's passed out next to me. I slap her awake. Asked her what the hell happened. She has no idea. But we end up staying eight nights. Now that we're nice and bright and looking 18 years old again, we're going to go ahead and set the face with a little translucent powder. Just pop that probably on the bottom there. You know, I felt bad for her. You know, she had that body, but she had the face of a goddamn bat. So we're going to move on to brows, and uh, I'm just going to use this little NYX marker. Can we get that into the pit? You know, my brows are really, really thin, so I like to really fill out that shape and, uh, you know, give me a little life. Don't do anything too hot, because then you're going to look surprised. And really try to make sure they're symmetrical. You take a little bit of white cream and just carve out that sheet and clean it up really nice. Look how gorgeous, look how gorgeous, look how gorgeous. Take a little bit of taco from Sugar Bell. You highlight right underneath that brow. Okay, brows are on sleek, as they say. My liner today, I want to do a nice, thick, retro liner so that I look just like Barbara. I'm going to start right on the outside and just flick out that shape. You're going for hooker, but 60s hooker. Really can't believe how stunning I am. Wow. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of glitter right around here. And you know, it all just got to be a little bit too much. Finally, she turns around, looks at me dead in the eye. I swear to God, this is a true story. Looks at me up and down and says to me, Why don't you go kill yourself, bitch? Never in a million years did I expect such an attitude. Just going to keep adding glitter because I love it. So gorgeous, so gorgeous, so gorgeous. I said, do you really think I deserve that? She says, yeah. I said, it's not my fault that we have the same goddamn taste in that. And that was the last goddamn time I ever saw it. My old boss used to call me Jar Jar Binks with Gorilla Titties. But he still nailed me every Tuesdays and Thursdays during lunch, that asshole. Okay, so now I'm just gonna... Brush off this little bake I got going on here. Now it's time for a little blush. I'm gonna use the new Tracy Mattel palette from Sugar Bell. This is called Life Size, kind of like my ass. My psychic once told me my ass was like the moon and that he was a Virgo, so I should blow him. So I'm just gonna throw on some lashes and I'll be right back. So she calls and calls and calls. I'm not going to answer. I'm not participating in this drama. So she finally leaves a text message. You're never going to believe what she says to me. She, you know what? I have it right here. You're going to burn in hell for what you did. And you know exactly what you did, bitch. I see your face around here again. You can kiss everyone that you love goodbye. Sleep with one eye open and make sure you check your ties before you get on the highway. I need Jesus to draw her. You know, you ruin one marriage, and the whole world goes up in flames. I thought, you know, 
know, that was then, this is now. I'm all about love, light, and positive energy and all stuff. So I'm going to add some genie jewels. I got these at Target. The All That Glitters, the All That Glistens palette from Target. You know, I've always been the creative type, and, uh, you know, I just thank God that I have a creative outlet during a time like this, so. I look at her right in the face, and I said, you're 22 years old, and you don't know where to score back a pot around here. What are you good for? It was my fifth operation, you know. I was pronounced dead for three and a half whole minutes. The doctors were baffled that I didn't have any brain damage, but, uh, you know, I'm a fighter. What can I say? So the last part is left. I'm going to use the Oh Honey liquid lipstick from Sugar Bell. I mean, I thought that guy from To Catch a Predator was kind of cute, so soon a little glitter on there. Oh, wow. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Someone looks gorgeous. Someone looks gorgeous. And it's me. Holy shit. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Ah. Okay, you guys. So now we're just going to do a little bit of highlight. Just going to pop that right there on my cheekbone. Just something subtle. Yeah, I think it was uh, Maya Angelou who said, People may forget what she said. People may forget what she did. But people will never forget how good you looked. Okay, I'm just going to put a little glitter right there, too. Okay, it's all waiting. Okay, you guys, so the makeup is all done. I'm just going to go put on the rest of my costume on camera, and I'll be right back. Ta-da! So these are just some clip-on things that I got from the Jessica Simpson line. And uh, this little hat I uh, made, I got the supplies from Michael's Arts and Crafts. Um, I guess you could say I got stoned and stoned my costume. <laughs> if you like this tutorial, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you like and subscribe and tap that little bell and make sure you have the best goddamn Halloween you've ever had. I know I will. I'm going to go meet my master and we're going to have a good time, honey. So, da 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 So make sure you tell me what you're going to be for Halloween this year. I can't wait to see your costumes and, uh, if anybody happens to be a rock fan for Halloween this year, you make sure you tag me so I can share it on my next video. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing, you guys. And uh, stay safe, be well, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Mwah!